Okay, so now I'm at the arbor. I've got my nine gemstones. So now we've trimmed them. We've cut them. We've trimmed them. So now we need to buff them up. So come on in. Uh, we're gonna wet this guy up. So I've got to, this is my arbor's belt. This is a 600 uh, grit uh, belt. And then there's a grinding belt on the other side. So again, really awesome machine. Uh, let's get going here. So I've sprayed my water. So now this is gonna gently polish. And again, I've got my gloves on. Very important because this will absolutely take your skin off. It'll take your fingers off. Be very gentle. And I'm constantly rotating it. And I'm also putting it directly under while I'm doing that as well. You can angle it on the side. And then I'm going to check it. We're going to give it a little check. And so, yeah, I can definitely see some color. This is a, a directional piece. And so we're going to go back in there. I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive. I'm being super gentle because you can't get it back. That is the truth, guys. You cannot get this gemstone back. If you over-process it, you'll lose it. So now we're going to give it another spray. It's not too bad. Real nice color. Uh, nice shiny color. But we can do a little bit better. We want to flatten out that aragonite. Uh, by doing this as well, you also grab and, and help release bubbles that could be in the surface of the gemstone as well and, and that'll really hurt the resin process. Uh, you'll have to redo that and you'll have to mitigate the bubbles so it's best just to do it right the first time. And so there we're getting some real nice directional color now. Okay so let's grab another, let's keep it going. So again, a little bit of water, I want to clear the gemstone. Each piece is unique. Some pieces require very little work, maybe a little bit of a buff, a little bit of a rundown, get all of the, you want to make sure that all of the edges of the aragonite are smoothed out. And then again, you want to check it. Nice purples on that, greens. See that little bit of calcite there? We want to get that off if we can. Working it and rotating it around ensures that you're going to get an even buff. If you're going to focus on one spot, you'll definitely just burn that spot and blow that gemstone away. That's pretty good. That's not too bad. Still have to work that spot here. So I'll take it a little bit under. Not too bad. Now again, we're going to be doing this pretty fast, but this is a timely process that you can you can take an awful long time. Again, you can switch through belts. Uh, you can go from 100 grit all the way to 1,000, 2,000 grit and higher. Uh, every artist is different. Uh, this is the way I prefer to do it because, again, for myself, it's about production. That's not too bad at all. Let's take that down. You can see that green coming out a bit. And when you can hear, I don't know if you guys can hear that sound, but you'll actually hear the aragonite coming off. You'll hear these little ticks, and that's that layer of aragonite coming off. And I'm listening for that as well while I'm spraying it. And again, keep in mind, any, any part that touches here is going to be burned away. You can see I took it a little bit too far there, a little bit of black there, so that tells me there's an inclusion line here. So this guy here will probably turn into some sort of earring here. But again, guys, you can definitely see what the arbor does. Uh, let's get this guy here, this nice piece of dragon skin. And like I say, you know, it, it takes seconds. You know, it just honestly seconds. You can't get it back. So trust me, take your time. Maybe I'm rushing here. Oh, see, that's a nice piece there. Greens to purples. Dragon skin's got those inclusions, so we want to bring those down. I'm just looking to smooth them out while bringing out that color. Nice. And again, depending on what kind of gemstone it is, uh, you, you'll take it further. If you're happy with it at one point, then stay with it, guys. It's your gemstone. Uh, I'll definitely would take these guys a little bit further for sure. 
And again, in the same fashion, that material coming off, you can see there that is, again, that is dirt and aragonite being scrubbed off, calcite minerals being scrubbed off. That's not too bad. Those inclusions are a little bit of a problem. A nice pair of earrings through there. Okay, and again, we'll just keep going. Do a couple more here. This one's pretty directional here too. And use multiple light sources because again, you want to make sure that you can see every single angle. So I'm looking, I'm looking to get that flat edge, but I'm also looking to smooth it out at the same time. And again, I'm also turning it. And again, aragonite is directional, amylase directional. So again, I'm constantly turning it. Uh, to make sure that I can see that color and see those places that I want to concentrate on. Woo! Okay, that one's gone. We'll, we'll, that happens. We'll, we'll find that later. Okay, moving on. <laughs> you can see my high, my technical system here uh, failed me. Uh, you can see immediately just a little bit of a wipe on that. And you can see those colors come out immediately. I'm not going to push this one too far. Not too bad at all. Definitely came out. Okay. Nice purples on that. Again, vivid purples. You do not want to take purple too far at all. That's the most difficult color. Uh, especially if you have no green behind it. If you don't have any green behind it, pff, holy, very tough. Uh, just barely even breathe on it. Well that's not too bad. Definitely the purple is coming out on that one. And again, taking my time, not pushing it. You can see those other two pieces where I exposed the inclusions went a little too far. There you go, that one's not too bad at all. I'll leave that one there. See the red underneath that? Might be able to expose that. Let's see if we can keep a little bit of green though. Every gemstone is unique and rare guys. It's that simple. You can see that every one cut is completely different design, so choices here that I make impact that design. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Uh, that's that's life, guys. That's that's a little dull there. Let's be a little bit more aggressive here. See what happens. Yeah, she's Gonzo. Look at that right there. Again, that is gone. So there's another layer. So let's get to that layer. Now I can put it under and be a little bit more aggressive. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Almost there. And again, I'm waiting to hear to see if I can hear that little tick. Once I hear that little tick, I know that I've went through. There's the red there, but again, look how thin it is. Look at that gone that one's busted this one here is the top of that triangle Let's see if we can bring some color out of it not all of them work out guys that's uh, that's the way it is yeah. well that's not too bad at all that calcite's coming off and again not being too aggressive Yeah, that's not bad. A little water on that. Wasn't too, wasn't too vivid to begin with here. Let's see if we can... Not too bad for that kind of piece there. Okay, last piece right here. Little guy, that inclusion is definitely going to show in the middle. Let's see what we can do here. Just a little touch. Now look at the difference. See that? Just a little touch. Now let's give it one more. Not too bad at all. Okay, so this is, that was the arbor, so it's that simple. As you can see, it's easy to lose pieces. It's absolutely easy to destroy stuff. And again, we want to be safe all the time. Safety goggles, gloves. Uh, plenty of light and lots of room guys, okay? So stay tuned. We're going to trim these down with the ceramic glass cutter.